Hi, my YouTube family. This is your girl, Tammy, here. I am coming today with a requested video of my living room. Um, a YouTuber reached out and asked if I could do a, a living room tour. And I was hesitant because I don't think my living room is fabulous enough for YouTube. But however, I think it's only fair because you guys, you know, saw me with the DIY of the reupholstered chairs and the pillows. And now you'll get to see how I use them into my home. Well, I hope you guys like. My taste is very different. Okay, you guys, this is so personal for me, but I'm gonna walk through this. Um, okay, so when you first walk in, this is what you will see. This wall here will be facing you. And uh, I DIY this wall myself way before I started YouTube or even watching YouTube. I think I got this idea from um, HGTV. And um, so I just wanted to block it off with some tape and I painted this wall like a khaki gray and I loved it and I have designed my home around this wall and I think it just adds some character to the room. Um, all the paintings in this room will be painted by me. Off to my side you'll see my eat-in kitchen area and my coat closet door is just filled with coats and a little bit of storage items. Over here to my right, this is where um, a wall that I couldn't figure out what to put on it. So I bought these little mirrors. They were $4.99 each from Walmart and I put them up. I bought five and it was a perfect fit and I love it because it makes the room bigger. Down here is an elephant that my mom it's made of leather that she purchased for me and gave, gifted to me um, in 1992. And these are my um, reindeers. They are made of crystal and metal. And I usually have them out for Christmas. I keep them out year round. So on Christmas time, I, little, I add like Christmas ribbon or Christmas bow around their neck. But I'm not putting them away. They're all seasonal. Um, these glass vases are glass. They're not made of the fiberglass. But I love them because they remind me of the ghost furniture. It decorates the area and um they're actually candle face so you can put water in them and put those floating candles in them but i decided to keep them empty i'm not sure if i would ever put anything other than those decorated balls inside and very low at the bottom as you see because i like the shimmery of the glass without taking up the space it's like it's barely there it's not like a like gonna steal your attention from the rest of the room but it also glamorifies the room as well so I do like that backdrop with those glass faces there as podiums or as just vases or columns whatever but I just like the look the floor is also DIY by me I did it myself and let me tell you I did my floor this painting um, came from Goodwill in 2007. I've had it that long. Now what I was saying about my floors is that um, I did it myself. That was a task. I never do that again. I also painted this picture and I did it because I wanted to match the curtains and um, I had the curtains first and so I loved it. And I will show you a link to this chair, how I reupholstered this chair. I did do a DIY for those of you who have not seen it. Okay, now let's get back over here. These giraffes came from Burlington. And I thought they were pretty. They're like a khaki color. And these vases, these two vases here came from Ross. And they were very affordable. Probably $8.99, $12.99 or $9.99, $12.99. This lamp is also, um, I have two up here um, from Burlington Coat Factory. This mirrored cabinet, I used this to store all my DVDs. The TV in this room does not have a cable outlet. It's a, a Wi-Fi TV, so I watch um, DVDs on it or um, TVs from the web and YouTube. And I also use it to film with. I can um, watch myself from my camera and film myself from, and watch myself as I film myself from my camera. I painted this picture abstract. I really like it. At first I didn't, but I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. And But I'm still not sure if I'm gonna keep it. I think I might be painting over that pretty soon. Um, this little penguin guy 
my husband brought it home. He, he liked it. So, hey, I put it in the living room and I'm kind of used to it now. So, if it goes missing, I would miss it because it helps take over some of that space. And that was just some random candles, um, iron candles. They used to be outdoors on my patio, but I decided to bring them in. Um, here's the other uh, pair of the case. Over here, more DVDs and some magazines at the bottom. Um, this little candle uh, lobber here came from Ikea. I had a set of three, but two got broke, so it kind of ended up here. It used to sit somewhere else, so now this is its home until it's broken. That cabinet also, the mirrored cabinets came from uh, Rooms to Go Outlet. This is another pillow that I DIY, but I didn't um, put on film because it was already done before I filmed. And you remember seeing the DIY video of my pillows. If not, I will leave a link and you can find how this pillow DIY and all the other pillows in, the, in that room that I did. I'm still working on one more pillow, my, my yarn pillow for, um, for texture. I did one and I haven't finished the other because I only have enough yarn to do half of the pillow. So I didn't want to start it until I purchased some more yarn to complete the entire pillow. These vases came from TJ Maxx. This is the Wi-Fi TV I was telling you about. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on it. And under here on this little cabinet, a bookcase cabinet, is an IKEA bookcase cabinet. I think it was $70 and I've had this for over six years as well. Um, so I just store random items on it. Um, and those books there used to have a casing on it, but I took the case because the leather and the gold print look better than having the actual picture. That's just a decorative plate that I decided to stand up, a uh, picture of my family, my sisters and I, and some more books, a marble ball, uh, uh, the vase, you also seen that on my pillow video, how I DIY that. And this is a carousel um, container. It, I thought it was so pretty and it matched everything, kind of like an antique-ish look. So I thought it would be perfect. And it was so affordable, only $11. And I've had it now over six years from Ross. And I'm a big collector of, I love magazines and I am a big collector of Essence. And I have Essence from 2007 all the way to 2016. However, I am going to stop because I have them now in random places. So I've gotten kind of tacky with keeping them in order. And um, so I'm just going to give up on the collection. Plus they've changed a little bit too. So it's not the same. And these are some flower vases, small miniature flower vases and more books behind that. The other chair and then this, there's another ghost um, vase and another picture that I painted and designed. All of my paintings just come from out of my head. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. When I pick up my paintbrush, I just let whatever happens, happen. And this little girl I thought was so cute. My husband brought her home and I was like, yay. Um, he had my plans for her to be outside and I thought, no, she's coming inside. So, and I liked her. And these little candle holders, sometimes I use them as candy dishes for Christmas. I usually tie ribbon around them, but I sit them out in the centerpieces of the table, but one is two foot, they're two foot tall, 16 um, inches and 12 inches. And this is um, an antique um, cabinetry that I use for the remote control and candles. And I um, sanded it down and varnished it. Another one of my paintings. It's kind of deep. It's, um, I haven't given it a name yet. And, um, but she's very pretty when you walk in the house. I like this painting. Um, but I'm not. It looks darker on film than it actually is in person. But um, I really love it. So here's an overview of my home. I forgot to tell you my coffee table. I got that at uh, TJ Maxx. And it was, believe it or not, no, I'm sorry, it was Marshall's. And believe it or not, it was only $69. So you guys, I have just shared a personal 
touch of how what my taste is like I know it's very different I have a collective taste I like hunting for items and finding stuff and putting random pieces from random different places I don't believe in going into a store and just buying the whole set off the floor I mean that is so easy to do so um, I just feel it's exciting to me to hunt and find and just add as I go along to my my creating my own style my way how I want to without a company designing for me so um, I hope that makes sense you know what I'm trying to say is I don't believe in going into the store and just buying the whole set the sofa the couch the nightstand the table I don't believe in I mean the coffee tables I like to find one piece from that item that I like and then I add the other pieces how I want to and my living room is set up for a social gathering I host a lot of dinner parties cocktail parties girls cocktail parties um, Halloween parties birthday parties Christmas I do it all I, I really love hosting so I wanted to have a very social setting where we can all sit facing each other and enjoy each other's company and having cocktails and chit-chatting so that is my setup and layout and I just love doing it so I, my taste and style is not for everyone but everybody has their own unique taste and flavor and style so I wanted to share with you my per a request of a youtuber and girl I hope you like it <laughs> Those decorative balls came from Hobby Lobby. They were very expensive too. Even though they were 50% off, when I purchased them, each one was still like five or six dollars a piece. Well, I'll be inserting some extra pictures for some close-up things that you didn't really get to see, but I wanted to share this because it was requested and I hope it was worth the wait. By the way, that lamp came from Ikea. It's so old, so I didn't want to talk about it because I'm going to replace it. I'm going to um, update it with something else. I just haven't decided what to do. Say hello, Willow. Bye. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like.